Slipper Vic State Championship, beating Lunenburg three to two. Cameron Legowski, number two, Abigail Schreiber, and number one in our hearts, Jazzy Hayes. <laughs> Here are the starters for the Red Hawks, leading off playing second That's base, so number cool. eight, Michaela Santos. In the circle for the Red Hawks, number six, Ashley Taylor. The catcher, number 12, Lou Fifield. At third base, Skylar Steele. At shortstop, number seven, wow. Haley Hapkowski. In left field, number nine, Olivia Mason. At first base, number 15, Sophia Pinardi. In center field, number 11, Chloe Cutting. And in right field, number four, Gabrielle Adams. The head coach of the Red Hawks is Mr. Gary Dean. Now, for the designated home team and number one seed, Greenfield Green Wave. Here are your reserves. Number 10, Abby Ortiz. Number six, Hannah Pearlberg. Number one, Gloria McDonald. And number 25, Ivy Ray. Here are your starters leading off in center field. Number 13, Caitlin Lavoie. At third base, number seven, Carly Blanchard. In the circle for the green wave, number five, Mackenzie Pollan. Catching for the Green Wave, number 29, Kelsey Richardson. In left field, number four, Rachel Dodd. At shortstop, number 19, Ainsley Flynn. At second base, number 15, Anna Bucala. The designated player is number 12, Brielle Widello. In right field, number 23, Ellis Benitez. And at first base, Number 12, Amber Bergeron. The Green Wave are coached by John Hickey. Officials for today's game are Glenn Boyer, Tom Morandi, and Joe Maruco Jr. Our great nation has persevered through the leadership and sacrifices of men and women who have served or are currently serving in our armed forces. We invite both veterans and current military personnel to stand. Wow. We thank you for your service to our country. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask now that you rise to honor America with the national anthem.
Hello uh, and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm your host Tom Adler, joined with Alec Eckel. It is just the duo of us today. And today we have the number one seed, Greenfield, versus Frontier Regional High School, who is the 21 seed in the Western Mass State Semifinals. The winner of this game goes on to face uh, West Borough. Uh, I may not be pronouncing that right. Uh, Greenfield is the home field, the home team, so they're going to take the field first, and uh, we will be. This is this is going to be a great game, Alec. I think uh, both teams, the way Frontier has been playing recently, and what we just saw in warmups, it's it's going to be an uh, outstanding performance uh, by both sides. By the way, both teams warmed up. It looks like it could be a good game. They yeah. both had accurate throws. Both had uh, good catches in the field. We'll just have to wait and find out. And with most, uh, with most teams, defense wins championships. And I think that's one of the ways Frontier has wiggled their way to this final. And one of the another thing that I noticed is you you don't have to be the number one, number two seed to win every single game. And just by uh, Frontier, they're the 21st seed in this tournament and they made it to the semifinals. So that's pretty impressive, just that stat there. And Greenfield, they have I think they were 17-5 going into this game and it's no wonder they're the one seed. On the mound, pitching for Greenfield is number five. Second base, number eight, Michaela Santos. Michaela Santos, so she's going to be up to bat, uh, leading off for the Red Hawks. And I will figure that out shortly. And here comes the first pitch of the game. Shows bunt, pulls it back. And that's going to be a ball. That one's in there for another ball, so two straight balls. Nope, whoops. So 2 0 count, here comes the payoff pitch. Swing, minute, miss. I think it was a foul tip, actually. And it's going to be a 2 1 hitter's count here. Mikhail Santos. Foul ball pop up, no play available. Stayed in play though. That's gonna even up the count two and two now. And I, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure that it is number five, Kelsey Richardson on the mound for Green Wave. So two, two count, big pitch here. Swing, foul tip out of play. And this is foreshadowing for the rest of the game what it's going to be like on both sides. Two two counts still, five pitches, or a five pitch at bat. And here comes another payoff pitch. Ball three, full count. And it's going to be a three two count. Either walk or base hit. So Mikhail is going to be swinging at anything close here. Ball four, she takes her base. Beautiful first at bat. Yep, and that's exactly what you want. Now batting for Frontier, the pitcher, number six, Ashley Taylor. And Taylor. So Ashley Taylor, who's going to be on the mound, and as I, I like to call it, it's going to be mano y mano, pitcher versus pitcher here. Always fun to watch a pitcher versus a pitcher. It is. I love what is pitcher versus pitcher. Oh, hard hit ball. Center field back caught. Nice catch in center field. 
by Greenfield. Uh, no, you can't do anything anything more than what she did. Nice yeah. level swing right through the ball. You know, just didn't find the gap. Yeah, and honestly, it was almost she took she took two steps back, two steps forward, and she got it. Delaney Fightfield's the batter. High ball, throws it, catcher throws it over to first. So there's one gone, and it's an 0 and 1, or 1 and 0 count. Or, yeah, there's only one out. That's going to be a strike a little out, a little, just hit the outside corner, and it's going to be 1 and 1. So Delaney Fightfield, who's the catcher for, it's going to be a ball outside. Good eye by uh, Delaney Fightfield, excuse me. Um, so 2 1 count, good hitters count here. We'll see what happens. Uh, fouled Sib, and she was just a little behind, so that evens it up 2 and 2 now. If Fightfield gets, she, she's going to look for the gap here in right center field or left center field. And that's strike. Oh! That was strike three swinging and a very close play throw back at first on that too. Yeah. It was just Michaela kind of. That, that's uh, not good either. She's shaking her hand. I think she jammed her fingers when she dove back into that yeah. first bait bag. That's not what you want to see at first inning of a No, game. no, no. She kind of like, it was, a, it was a quick throw over there by the catcher by uh, Greenfield. So Accurate, too. Yeah, it was like run on point. So now the batter is Skylar Steele, who's a seventh grader for Frontier. And she made uh, All-State. As a seventh All grader? Yeah, as a seventh grader. Delaney wow. Fifield and Skylar Steele. That's pretty good. Yeah. Those two, right, the... And that's going to be a ball, so Greenfield kind of pitching around as it's a 2-0 count. And as she knows, Skyler Steele can hit. And just like that, foul tip out of play. Out of play and out of the stands. And goes into the road. <laughs> I like the view from up here, Alec. Yeah, it's, a, it's nice. So a 2-1 count. No, once again, another good hitter's count. Ball three. And like I said, she's trying to pitch around her. She doesn't want to give her anything in down the middle. Anything three and closer. one, anything close, I would say that she might swing, but I would say she's going to hold it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And, yep, ball four. So two walks, and Frontier has a man on first, man on second. What I say, you're not swinging until it's three and two. Yeah, you're right. Well, the only thing I, you only swing at three and one pitches if it's right down the middle. And oh it's yeah. A, so. And it has to be like a meatball where you know you're gonna get a hold of it. Strike one swings. So. It is a it's a five hitter for Frontier, and two walks for men, uh, and two outs. So. Another swing and a miss. Just she, the pitcher for Greenfield. Just that placement was perfect. You want? Ball three. She left that one out there. It's gonna be one and two. Haley Adowski now. This is a good pitcher's count. One and two. And strike three. Beautiful pitch. Beautiful it's inning for Frontier. That the winner of this game will play West Boylton. In the oh, West Boylton. On Friday, 3 p.m. at the University of Massachusetts. All right, so we will be going to the bottom of the first inning. No damage done, but two walks. Uh, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. The duo, and here comes the pitch. Ball outside. 
And the batter is Caitlin Levine. Levine. So ball one. And ball two, so Caitlin's gonna wait for hers. And Ashley Taylor on the mound once again for Frontier. Hard at ball, and it'll go out of play, almost hitting a fan. <laughs> so that's gonna make it a two-one count for Caitlin Levoin. <laughs> Watch the <guy. laughs> So two-one count, good hitters count once more. And Taylor to pitch. Gonna be ball low and inside. And it's a three and one count. Fly ball, second base. Nice easy play from Michaela Santos. And that's one down. Now batting for the green lane, playing third base, number seven, Carly Blanchard. Blanchard. So it's gonna be Blanchard. Blanchard. Hard at ball over the shortstop. Nice play. Beautiful stretch at first to be able to make the grab a little bit sooner. Yeah, and that was Haley Adowski at shortstop making that play happen. Now batting the pitcher. And Sophia Panardi at Kenzie first. Pollen. Pollen. So it's going to be Pollen up to bat, who's pitching for uh, Mono Imano. Another ground ball shortstop. Bobble cannot make the play in time as it was a. Just kind of got stuck between the glove and the ground. Well, it was the it was her it was her rushing rushing the transfer. She yes. wanted to transfer it quicker than she needed to, and it caused her to bobble the ball in the glove. Yes, and that's one thing in softball with the bigger ball that could have an effect, you know. And in baseball, it happens too. So now uh, there's two outs, and Kelsey Richardson's the batter. That one's in there for a strike. The catcher, number 29, Kelsey Richardson. Richardson. <laughs> so one strike on her and two outs. Fly ball catcher makes the play. Beautiful, beautiful, wow. beautiful reaction time. That was really impressive by Delaney Fifield. So, after uh, after one, we will go to the break. Tied 0-0. Zero, zero. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Right there. Uh, welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert. Al Keckle and the rest of the... That's in there for strike one. And the battery is Olivia Michon. Number nine, that's my number. <laughs> it was my number. Niner. Strike two swinging. And she likes... Poland likes to... Pitch a little on the outside and makes the batter chase. So... Smart placement. Fly ball, could be a blooper. Right field coming in, makes the catch. So good play out there by number 23 for Greenfield. And so that was a quick one out, one pitch, one out. And it's gonna be Sophia Panardi for front batting for Frontier. Fly ball, just a nice catch. Could this be an immaculate inning? It could be a one, two, three inning. So see, the issue with that swing was you got it in on the handles and it just didn't travel. Yeah, that, the last one, see they're, most of the bat are... Uh, and the, the other at bat, she just got under it too yeah. much. They need a more level or hit for grounders, try to repeat it out. It's gonna be inside for ball one and the batter is Chloe cutting. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a low strike. And it was almost like a golf swing, but nice placement by Poland again.
That one's in the dirt for ball two. Now it is a 2-1 count, hitter's count for Chloe Cutton. Here comes the pitch. Strike two. And then again, that same spot that everyone seems to be swinging at. Uh, all twos on the board. In the dirt, tried to make her chase, would not. 3-2 full count. Big pitch here, either walk or base hit. Keep, or foul tip. Foul tip. <laughs> you called it. Yep. So, Chloe staying alive here. What's, what's the song? BG, staying alive? Staying alive? <laughs> and here comes the pitch. Strike three, same, wow. So that would be a one, two, three inning. That was a one, two, three inning, three up, three down. We will go to the bottom of the second inning. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Rachel Dodge, wow. Rachel Dodge leading off for Greenfield in the bottom of the second inning. Still tied 0-0. She's looking to make change that here. Ball one, low pitch. Again, Taylor on the mound, and the count is 1-0. Oh, so. Swing and a miss. So that evens up the count one and one. Out of play, foul tip, and a good pitcher's count here. It's just the opposite of a hitter's count. <laughs> so Taylor has the lead here. She can do what she wants with this one. Here it comes. Oh. That was, I think, a little inside. So, evens up the count two and two. Here comes the pitch. Oh. Same spot. It's a close call. It could go either way. Three, two, full count. Fly ball out of play. And the hump is out of <laughs> softballs because the amount of foul tips they've had. <laughs> so still full count, a six pitch at bat, and it is payoff pitch, and she's going to... So a running walk. <laughs> because what I... Batting for the Green Wave, the shortstop, number 19, Ainsley Flynn. Ainsley Flynn's a batter for Greenfield. Uh, and like I was saying, when if, if you walk and you run it, sprint down to first, you could take a turn if... Oh, yeah. If you could definitely take you a turn. You can steal second. Yeah. Pass, ball, walk. I stole third one time because of that. I stole second, stole third. Foul ball. Looks like the runner was going. So man on first and one strike. No outs. Ball outside. She throws it back over the almost. She needed to take another step and she may have gone there. So it wasn't close, but batter kind of made it look close. Again, if I was a catcher, I would have started running at her, see what she did. <laughs> she, what do you do in that situation? You get into a pickle? Take off the second? Oh, swung at that one. That was a beautiful cut. Yeah, and that was a perfect pitch, too. Evens up the yeah, count. If she made contact with that ball, it would have been, would have been a good... Good one. Yeah, I think it would have been a uh, fair turn. Uh, it it would have been a good hit. 
Wow. So another 3-2 full count. And there's been a couple of those this game, so. Taylor's For gonna... each team, there's been a couple. Yeah. And they foul, usually it's a foul tip. So the batter swings at it and they make contact. So Ainsley Flynn doing a good job here. Keeping alive. And Ashley Taylor just trying to get that strikeout. But this is a, that one goes into the baseball field. That one just went over the fence. Yeah. Well, that one, the they have fence. to hop the fence for that one. <laughs> That's so funny. Taylor gets her pitch, and here it comes. Grounder down the third base line, but it was went foul. Still full count, big at bat here. Man on first. And I think it's, Alec, I think it's going to be one of those games where one run could be the difference between winning oh, that, and losing. That definitely is how it's looking right now. But what worries me is the 3-2 counts. The more they throw, the, the more the pitcher is more likely not to pitch as long. Just like that. And she walks him. So... Now batting, playing second base, number 15, Anna Bukala. Anna Bukala. Bukala. Anna Bukala is going to be the batter. No. No outs, and man on first and second. Oh, hard hit ball, oh, right over the right fielder head. And that's gonna score one run, maybe two. She's gotta get it in quick. She's gotta, oh. So, what a hit. What a beautiful a swing. hit right over the right fielder, you know? Just enough to get over and drop yeah. over her head to get two runs in. That was a, that was a crazy swing. I mean, the right fielder just needs to play more back and she makes that catch. I think this is the type of game it's going to be. It's going to be a lot of runs because they're going to get good contact how they have been. They and haven't been missing that much on the ball when they do not make good contact. So, and, oh, and foul ball. The batter's uh, uh, Brielle, I think. Um, Man on third, as the triple was just hit by Greenfield, and it was a two RBI hit triple. That one's in there for a ball, and it's gonna be a one and one count. Here comes the pitch. Foul ball, oh, came up our way. <laughs> we thought we were safe up here, Alex. Nah, you are never safe. We are never safe, these cameras. Alex is the magnet. They should call him the magnet man. <laughs> so two strikes on her. One, two count. In there for a ball. So one thing I'm noticing about both teams is they're swinging at the good ones. Doing a great job to protect. Almost a play. Hard at ball. She'll be way safe at first. But you know, even though she missed it and just was able to knock it down, it's a good thing to knock it down because if that went by her, that yeah. could have been a double easily. That was going to be an easy double because clearly uh, Brielle uh, has speed. So, And they're going to take a quick uh, timeout as just to talk over what kind of happened and reconvene and what. They're gonna take a quick break. So will we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Al Gecko. Careful. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Al Gecko, the duo. Ball one. You know, you know, if you keep calling us the duos long enough, Murphy's going to start to make memes and stuff about it. Yeah, that's right. We are. I am a meme. I'm a living meme. <laughs> Foul ball, by the way. One and one.
This ball is going to travel a lot too because of the weather. Yeah. Warmer weather, ball travels further. And the field looks in pretty prime condition. Oh, they watered it beforehand. Wow. When I was waiting. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. When I when Dude. I was waiting uh, for you to bring the equipment, they were watering the field, maintaining it. Yeah, I mean they were watering the baseball field. I saw them doing that, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Foul tip, just stays a lot, or just fouls out. She on. just got there too, just yeah. in time. Yeah, so that makes the count two and two. And this a lot of two and two counts, and a lot of I, I have a feeling this one's gonna be fouled off. Or it's gonna be a hit. Oh, just foul. And now uh, Olivia Michon knows to play a little closer to the line there. That was a. If that was fair, that would have. I think that easily would have been a triple if it was yeah, fair. The the runner at first, Brielle, would have uh, scored. I think, unless she gets it in quick, you know. Oh. I mean, that one was a little high. So, still full count. Another one at that. And another foul ball. Holy moly, man. So I won't be surprised if we see, uh, well, in the, in the later, later in this game, we'll see if... Uh, Excuse shoot. me? <laughs> <laughs> Hard at ground ball gets through. So a nice hit. And still, no outs. So this Greenfield team is the just. Top of the for the wave. Wow. Fielder, 13, Caitlin Lavoine. Caitlin Lavoine, a senior for uh, Greenfield. Uh, and top of the order. So this is Greenfield's inning right now. Foul ball play, not just an arm's reach <laughs> out of her reach there. Yeah. Honestly, if she was a little, I don't know. That was a very difficult play, even if she even came close. Here comes the pitch. That's strike two down the middle. And we have a 2 out count. Or 0-2 count, excuse me. Taylor, payoff pitch. Oh, just outside. Once you count, and Taylor again. Gonna have to have a good placement on the ball. Hard hit ball, that's gonna drop in there for a hit. And one run will score. I'm sure that they'll wait around, and Lavoine reaches third. And that's Greenfield's second triple of the night. And just packing on those runs right now. Five to nothing, Greenfield with the lead. And they are the one seed here, so. What a big inning for Greenfield. Yeah, this this is their inning. Frontier's gonna have to. Frontier's gonna have to change that. Hard at ball, that's gonna be a play, catch. Good job by Haley Adowski. That was Carly Blanchard. <laughs> Carly Blanchard was the batter there. And Kenzie Paulin, the pitcher for uh, pitcher for uh, Greenfield, mano y mano, I think. It's gonna be a ball. So two out count. And here comes the pitch from Taylor. In there, strike, throws it back. Oh! Good call by the ump, but close play. Again, she had to get dirty, down and dirty for that one. Hitters count, two one, one out. Foul ball. Oh, whoops, there is only one out. Again, another 2-2 count, Alec. 
Foul ball. So it got this weird spin on it. <laughs> Must be a changeup. I could not tell you on that one. Could be a curve, could be a change. Oh, missed the tag, but that's like <laughs> slam it in. Th Once again, full count, payoff pitch. See what happens here. Hard at ball, center field, nice catch. She's gonna tag, and yeah. So, good sack fly by uh, Pollen. She did her job. Yep, she did her job, got that extra run in, and now the base are empty with the four hitter up. I'll be interesting to see how, once Frontier gets out of this inning, how they end up doing. Yeah, they either gotta come out with uh, on fire and not get shut down. That's what they gotta do. They have to at least get a couple runs on the board. And that one was in there for ball one. Six to nothing, Green. six unanswered runs. And most of them were with zero outs this inning with two triples. One by Kaitlyn Lavoine and the other, not too sure, but hard at ball gets through. That's, that's again, just perfect placement by the batter and you can't do much about it when it just hits into that gap you yeah exactly the only thing you can try to do is what uh, uh the third baseman did is dive for it and knock it down dodge is the batter she led this inning off ball one in the dirt fight field doing a good job of keeping the runners in check yeah, but you gotta start worrying when she keeps throwing down as much as she has been. You're just waiting for that overthrow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A hard at ball. That one's gonna drop in there as well. Greenfield hammering on the hits right now. Play at third. She's got him. What a beautiful throw from what left field play. to get her. Whoa. That so, is. so you definitely gotta hope that that momentum from that throw from left field, you, you gotta hope that that helps Frontier, yeah, boost her energy to get some that, hits. That was a really close play, and she the tag was right where she slid, so there's no no wrong call there. Uh, great play, but six unanswered runs and six hits by the the Green Wave. Uh, we'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Oh, swung at the high one there. And welcome back to Frontier. Welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Gabby Adams is the batter. And pulling on the mountain once again. Oh, that one is way out, outside. And it is 1-1. One, one. Foul ball out of play, hits the top of the fence. <laughs> like we said, they gotta, they gotta pack on some runs or even a, get some base runners right now. Uh, no hits right now for Frontier. So, just two walks in that first inning. It is a 2-2 count now with that last one. Gabby Adams gotta protect. Here comes the pitch. High for ball three. Greenfield expecting a bunt too, it looks like. They're playing in on the corners. Yeah, I don't, why Why are they? Because she got speed. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, but if it's hard to ball, it's gonna get through. High, and she steals first almost. <laughs> Let's put it they, that way. They basically gave her first. There, there yeah. was too close at pitches and then she just couldn't get in the I mean, zone for the last two. Yeah, and she wasn't pitching to her, so. Again, another, um, Back to the top of another the order the thing. With the second baseman, number eight, Michaela Santos. Santos. Uh, 
Mikhail Santos, top of the order. Thing. So, man on first with that walk. And Mikhail Santos is the batter. She needs to get a hit here to. No out, so anything on the ground she'll be going. on the, In the air she'll probably be staying. Yeah. And speed at first by Adams, so I won't be surprised if she'll. Well. If they, get, if they get it deep enough out there, if she has a good enough speed, I wouldn't be surprised if they send her. Yeah. I mean, she's fast enough to steal, so we've seen it. It just depends on where it's hit. 1-1 one, one count. She throws it back. To, the catcher throws it over to first act. Excuse me. She got back in time, too, so that yeah. was good. And she has at least another step. So, 1-1 one one count. Here comes the pitch. Oh, check swing, foul tip out of play. Just unlucky. <laughs> and. One, two count. Michaela. Ooh, ball too low. That was a close one. Yeah. So. Paulin doing a good job of placement. She has done all game. 2-2 two, two count. Another one. Either way. Ooh. Almost took a head off. <laughs> Foul tip. Holy moly. I don't want that coming near me. <laughs> you would have caught it. Oh, God, no. I would have I would have had a couple broken teeth. Michaela Santos. Oh, strike three. Strikes out. Oh, almost, almost. Almost a double play. Almost. A double play with. <laughs> well, I've seen it happen. Yeah, that, that it does you, happen. You, you uh, lose your focus just for a second out there at first when you're a base runner, and that one second makes a difference. And it makes a big difference, too. And ta Taylor is the batter. That one's going to be in the dirt for ball one. Again, Frontier still looking for their first hit with just this incredible performance right now by uh, Paulin. Throws it over once more. Pick up attempt. Again. Oh, whoops. 2-0 uh, count. So Taylor's going to wait for hers. Anything close, though. Nice cut. And foul tip out of play. Oh, and it's. it's uh, never mind. Uh, yeah, mano y mano, though. Oh, that one's going to be caught. So just a unlucky, but a good catch that will stay in the field, pop up to the third paceman. So, Fifield, the batter. See if she can get things going for Frontier. Shows Bond. Pulls it back. And Adam's still just that first. If it's a full count, though, she'll take off. If it oh, gets yeah, to that. yeah, they're in bunt, bunt defense, so they're not. Yeah, she's taking off. Uh oh. Oh, she's got. Oh! She's safe! Wow. Didn't tag her in time, I guess. She I got guess her foot he, in. Saw, he saw something we didn't, because I sure thought, thought she was out. But I she must have just got around yeah. the tag. She didn't get a good jump, which kind of. And it was a perfect throw. And they knew she was going to steal. <laughs> so. Or they were just ready for that steal and made a good play. Anyway, so man on second. Fightfield, big at bat here for the Hawks. 3-0 count, so she'll take a pitch or two, or she'll swing, you know. I mean, I don't know with two outs. 3-0, oh, two outs, she, she's taking a pitch. Yes. Ball four takes her base. Would not pitch to fight field. And now the seventh grader. Big at here. 
by Skylar Steele. Man on first and second, and you never know what could happen. Oh, with two outs, anything can happen. Ooh, nice cut. Yeah. When I played, I always loved hitting with two outs because you never knew what happened. Uh, it's I, a whole different ball game when there's two outs. Yep, I totally agree. Whoa, overthrow. So man on second and third now. What I noticed just there, the pitcher didn't cover home. So if Adams took off the home and she threw it back, it could have been a close play. But it's all hypothetical. <laughs> well, right? Because she's walking back to the pitcher's mound. Well, the only way, only thing I would have been concerned about was if they threw it to third. Yeah. Not pitching a Skylar Steele either. Two to one, two, one, count. Big pitch here. Ooh, two, two now. But she gets a piece of that one too. Yeah, this is a big at bat right here. Yeah, this this could this could make or break the game depending on what happens. Yep, you're totally right. Ball three, full count now. And the runners can take off. You just want to be... I don't see that happening. Really? But ball forward to a walk, bases loaded. Oh, you're loaded. right. I, I was thinking bases were loaded. Or it may not first and second. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. They're not going to take off. Base hit. Got to make the play. Good job, Whoa. Whoa. Close play at first, calls her out. And that was that's another really close play, just unlucky. So that's gonna end the top of the third inning. It is six to nothing, Green Wave with the lead. You're watching Frontier Team Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Good eye by Ainsley. Ainsley Flynn. In there for strike. Got the call that time, so. Whoops. Yep, one and one count. A lot of even a count. That one's going to be in uh, in the dirt for ball two. So, 2-1 two count. Hard hit ball. Good hitters count. And it just rolls into center field. Chloe, wow. What a, what a way to get it in. Again, the greenfield hitter just finds the open ground there and just gets another signal. It was, it was funny because I was going to say oh, it's a hitter's count. 2-1 and boom, finds the gap. Chloe gets it in quick though. High for a ball. And yeah, front, greenfield just doing a great job. Of, uh, that one's in there for a strike. See, what Greenfield's doing is they're getting in the good hitter count and they're finding the open ground where Frontier's also getting into the good hitter count, but they can't find the open gaps yeah, in the field. They, they, they're having a very difficult time finding the gaps, and that's why Greenfield has seven hits and Frontier has none. And they're, they're only batters, are, they're only base runners are walks. So right now, a no-hitter is going for Green Wave. Although, after three innings, so that's pretty good. And oh, ducked, in, ducked into that one. So that had to hurt. And it looks like she's going to get a warning just because it hit her in the head. Yeah, but she ducked into it. Yeah. It happens. The designated player, number nine, Brielle Widello. Widello. <laughs> Widello. <laughs> Uh, batters Bria Brielle. 
Ground ball, third base. Step on third. Oh, oh almost a double play. So, gets a good, great job by the third baseman. Not sure who, who's over at third. I think it's uh, Steele. Now I'll check on that. Right Elise, Elise Benitez. Elise Benitez, the batter. Yeah, number 10 is Skyler Steele. So nice play by her, and that makes it one out. And that's a ball, so ball one. Frontier, though, this inning, you know, they got some, Greenfield's got base, some base runners, and Hard at fall, left field, almost there. Good job by Olivia Michon getting over there to even tr attempt to make that play. See, that's one that you question too as a fielder if you catch or not, because if you do catch it, you they can tag in. up on it. Yeah, but so I'll sometimes it's better not to catch it and let it drop foul. Yeah. Ground ball again to Steele. So all she has to do is step on third. Almost a double play, but again. So, so. so see, see what I'm talking about? Where if she caught that in the far left foul, that she could have tagged up and she could have been on third in that. Yeah, that and, way, and she could have gone home maybe. Exactly. And Lavoine with a triple, her last at bat. And top of the order. So this is her third time in the third inning. That one just... So, 1-0 uh, count, sorry. Uh, and Lavoine waiting for the pitch. Hard at ball, shortstop gets through. 1-1 one, one is gonna score, maybe. Please, oh, 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 pickle, she's, oh. Yes, they get Beautiful the play. Throw. What a play by the catcher and a throw from left field. Oh my gosh. That is impressive, and you can't do anything when the runner took off and slid into third. Nope. You can't. And no. she. Either way, all she had to do was tag one of them. And yeah, yeah, or step on the base, because you can't have two runners at the same base. No. That's no, technically you would have to tag her. Oh yeah, you're right. And Haley Hadowski. Now up to bat. Welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Ball way outside. So ball one. And there's been a couple of those throws by. But she's pretty accurate for the most part. Uh, is it, that one's in there for a strike. So. One, one and one count. If Haley can just get a blooper up the middle, maybe she can reach first. Oof. What a swing. Yeah, it was a little, little out. It, she, uh, the placement's pretty good. Oof. Strike out, strike three swinging. As that is one out. And Olivia Michon needs to get some, get Frontier rolling as it's we're in the midway through this point of this game. A little high of a strike or swing. Um, oh one count. One thing I was really good at about is I would swing at the first pitch just like that. And usually it would be the best pitch you get all the bat. Or the worst. It was one of the two. And that one was real. That one I think I would have swung at too. But you <laughs> I'm not in the batter's box, so <laughs> can't say what I won't or wouldn't swing at. 0 2 count. Gotta protect. Oh. I don't know about that one, but it's a uh, three. That's a three pitch three. Sophie Bernardi, the batter, and it was three pitches, three strikes. This this looks like it could be another quick inning. Yeah, it's gonna be another quick inning. Oh, 
I yeah, think especially when they're doing that and they're swinging out know, all the pitches. Yeah, you you they gotta leave from, that one. They went from good hitter count to now just swinging at anything. Yeah, it was their five, six, seven batters. So. Sophia's just got to lock in here and protect. O2 count once again. Two outs. Wow, outside left that one. Good choice. Great eye by Sophia. One, two count. Still got to swing at anything close. Way outside, way. Evens it up now, 2-2. Two, two. two straight strikes to two straight balls. If she gets on, Chloe Cutting is the batter. Ball three. So. And here they go, working themselves right into another good hitter count. Yeah, great job by Sophia Pinardi to make, uh, make this a lo much longer at bat. Full count. Hard at ball, makes the catch. Great catch over there by uh, their shortstop. Nothing more you can do there. No, again, they just need to. Uh, swing. Uh, anyways, after top of the fourth inning, it is six to nothing. Greenfield with the lead. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Carly Blanch Carly Blanchard up to bat now. Bat's gonna ball one outside. And Taylor's still in there. As she's Frontier's ace. It's gonna be ball one in the dirt. Or ball two in the dirt, excuse me. Two up count. So Blanchard's gonna wait for hers. And here comes the pitch. In there for a strike. Two one count, Taylor to pitch. Ooh, little inside. I think here comes the pitch. I think on that one, she just needed to slow down and wait. It's, yeah, it's she's almost a little antsy. I don't know. She's definitely rushing her pitches. I, well, in, what I think of is in baseball. Um, and their quick mound visit by the fight field. I think she just needs to slow down a little bit. I think that's what the catcher for Frontier is actually telling her is to slow down. Take your time. You know, you don't have to rush it. No. She's the one in control of the game. When she throws it is when it's on. So. Yeah. There's no reason to rush right now. And look at that. What? Yeah. Oh. So that's interesting. Is Greenfield runner is out due to jumping off the bag early before the pitch. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. Because before he called time or whatever. Wow. I've never seen that before. Ground ball, shortstop. Haley's going to have to make a quick play. No. It was an accurate throw. Just bobbled it into her in her glove. You still got to give her props though, staying oh. with it and still making it so when she threw it, it was yeah. on target. To, to even make that play was impressive. And Haley's had a tough job over there and she's made a couple great plays already tonight. So, got to give her props. Kelsey Richardson, the batter. And a steal to second. Pass ball is, and she rounds the base. So, Counts 1-0 after that wild pitch. You know, that's a hard one for a pitcher to, or a catcher to stop also. It hit and, right yeah. before the plate and, and bounced if, over. And if, if the batter at uh, last inning didn't get out because of that rule, ball two, uh, if she didn't get out, there would be man on second and third, which puts a lot more pressure on the pitcher. 2-0 count. Taylor's going to have to work her way back, and she's good at doing that. Fly ball, going to be blooper, and it dropped. They can make a play to third. Oh. 
No play. That's a good call, though. So man on first and third. It was just a late tag. Well, that could that could have been a run too because the the runner when they were on second did hesitate yeah. too on continuing to go because they thought that it was going to be caught. Well, and she, she was like ready to run, right? Batters dodge. Uh, they'll. Oh! Another pickoff attempt. The frontier just not. I definitely wouldn't have thrown it to third. I probably would have thrown it to yeah, second instead. I would have instead. thrown it to second on there, and she would have dove back. Uh, she probably would have ran. Taken off, maybe. You, you, that's when you throw it to the short stop or second. Another hard blooper going to drop in there. Again, so one run will score. And just they're playing too far back now. So... Uh, Greenfield now with seven runs, nine hits, not 67, seven, and nine hits, so wow. Still only one out. Batter takes off. What I would do in that situation, you throw it hard back to the pitcher or short second and short stop, see what happens. Because then, you, then if the runner at third takes off to home, you got him dead to rights. Nice stop Ooh. by Fifield. That was a beautiful stop by the catcher. Yeah. We've seen that all season. Two one count. Good hitters count. One gone. And Frontier being charged with another error there. That one's going to drop in there for a hit. One run will score. The second run, she would have been dead to rights. Good job by, good heads up base running by, over there by the uh, number four. Again, Greenfield just getting into those good hitters counts and yeah. finding the gaps and making it count. Yes, and, and this is another good inning for Greenfield as now they have eight, it's eight to zero. In front here, just. Eight to, eight to zero, 10 hits, and they caused two errors. Yeah, on that blooper, those bloopers just also it's damaging because you have your players playing too far back. In the first innings though, they were playing, the right fielder was playing too far in. That was a little interesting. Two out count. Taylor's gonna have to work back again. And 10 hits, eight runs for Greenfield. Um, either has been calling that all day or not giving that call. So it's a little inside. It's on the outside corner, basically. Just like that. And Taylor, from a 3-0 count, now it's 3-1. So she's got to work all the way back here if she wants to get this out. Oh, make the play, Michaela. What a play, though. <laughs> what a run will score on that. Yeah. So now it would be nine. And she couldn't throw it to home because it's smart play oh, by. Designated player, number nine, Brielle <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a mound visit. Yeah, enough for water. I mean, it is pretty dang hot up here. And hot must be for the pitchers. So it is six, it, well, six runs scored in the second, bottom of the second for Greenfield, and three so far this inning. Yeah, with the runner on third right now. And we're going to take a quick break, so we, after that great play by Michaela, she caught it on the run, basically, and threw it over to first. Watching Frontier Community Access Dublin, we'll be right back. Well, that was a quick break. Welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Ball one. Uh, five ball kind of nice cat. Oh! Just bounced out of the inside of her glove. And that's why the first thing they teach you when you play any sport for baseball or softball yep. is no matter where you hit it, you always run it out. Yep. 
Yep. Yeah, Alec, you are totally right. That's because she easily could have been at two if she kept going. She could have just given up and not, you know. So Brielle, get you know, unlucky play, and that's the Frontier's third error. I, I wouldn't even call that an error though, because that was a, just a tough play. But um, well, it's a tough play because the way she went at it, she caught it. She tried the underhand to catch it. Yeah, and that's and really. And it just basically hit the palm and bounced out. And yeah, yep, yeah, you're right. Yep. Trying to go down that third base line right now. Yeah, she's been doing a good job without it. That's how I hit the ball. I'd always, I always grounded a third or short. And then because I had speed and did track, <laughs> I could outrun it. Or I'd get thrown out, you know? Depends. It's, it's. She's a little too out in front of that on that swing. Yeah. With softball and uh, baseball, it's very similar when it comes to how you attack the ball. And there's different ways of doing that. Just like that, she finally got on the money. What a catch! By uh, Olivia Michon to end that inning. Wow. Some great plays out there by the left fielder. So damage done, it is 10 to nothing. We go to the top of the fifth, Frontier down to their last three chances to get on the board. You're watching Frontier King Max's television. We'll be right back. Chloe Cutting, now to bat for Frontier. Shows bunt straight away, pulls back, ball. So it's going to be really interesting to see how Frontier comes at it because so far they have zero runs, no hits. And for Green Greenfield, it's 10 runs and 10 Shows hits. Shows bunt again. Oh. Interesting swing. To swing on that, you know, it, that's a tough, that's, it's like a, Cut. The, you, like you. A check swing? Check swing. That, I couldn't think of it. Thank you. And she's on it. That's Fans watch out. Woo. So, two straight strikes. It is a one two count for cutting. And Kenzie Pollins looking to not give her another chance to straighten that one out. See what happens here. Oh, strike three. And she's that third now strike is just. Four, oh, they're high fiving now. Adam. Gabby Adams. Now up to bat for Frontier. Grounder. She's she can run it out. Uh, quick flip oh it makes it close though close but not close enough back to the top of the order Play so one more eight. out will make Number it eight. five eight. innings without a hit for frontier yeah that's a no hitter and if they it's a mercy rule then if we're wrong anyways let's see what happens here big at bat and just release point for that one so one and out count. Big at bat by Michaela Santos here. Grounder to first. She's got to run it out. I, oh. So that ends that inning for Frontier. Yeah. And. Yeah, so we will go to the bottom of the fifth inning. And I'm pretty sure if Greenfield scores one run, it'll be a mercy rule. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. It's all up to Frontier's defense now. Dark. <laughs> Fans, if any of you could find a phone that seems to be without an owner, bring it over here to the scorer's table. We'll make sure we find the owner. Thank you. Dude, why are so fun. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Alec Echo, the Immaculate Duo. Big at back and another inning where she's leading off. 
Caitlin Levo uh, Lavoine. And, and I know I usually keep track of hits and stuff like that, but I know she has one of the triples with two RBIs, so. Taylor just going to have to pitch very well. Ooh, foul. Ooh. Great pitch. It had to hurt. It looked like it went off her ankle. Yeah. Or, well, no, I think it went through. I don't know. Maybe you're right. How do we miss that? <laughs> One, two, count. Good pitchers count. And Taylor, payoff pitch. Here it comes. Grounder. Great contact by Lavoin. So, still one two count for Caitlin. <laughs> Taylor, she's just got to dial in here. Maybe throw something outside, maybe throw something inside. Caitlin will make contact. If it's close, though, as you can see, like that. Blooper, what a hit, just, you can't, oh, that's just beautiful, a beautiful contact swing. Again, Frontier, or Frontier just struggling to make it so they don't find the gaps. Yeah, it's, it's almost impossible though when you hit something like that. You have to dive as a shortstop or second, ooh. Full swing and a miss. Well, what I've realized is she gets into a, a good pitcher's count, and then yep. she has a pitch to waste, but then she catches too much of the zone, and then the greenfield player just hits it. Yeah, they, because they know she's going to pitch it into the zone. Nice pitch by Taylor. Where, where normally if you get into a two-and-one count, you're going you're gonna to pitch one out of the zone. Yeah. Hopefully get that batter to chase. Yeah, I mean, that's but what... But I haven't seen that happening today. No, that's what's happened on the other end. Kenzie... Kenzie uh, Poland's been doing a good job for Greenfield, and that's why she has a no-hitter going right now. So, a no-hitter going, no errors, and only walks. So, strike three. Taylor sends her back to the dugout. So that's a big out for Frontier right now, especially if we believe that there's a mercy rule. Yeah, yeah, you're told, yeah. And like I said, it's that mono mono Pitcher versus pitcher. Hard hit ball, left field, that one. Foul. Oh, oh. Just foul down the left field line, just it, outside you that foul ball. Yeah, you straighten that one out, that one's gone. She got. That's the ones that you're always regretting because you just get a little too early of wow. contact. That was that was that was a crazy, crazy hit. It hit a tree, knocked some leaves off. And oh Haley Hadowski trying to make that catch there and just one second too late. Which is just, you know, unlucky. And then now one out, number four hitter, Kenzie Richardson now up to bat. So, I know she has a couple hits this game, and again, foul ball. Now batting the catcher, number 29, Kelsey Richardson. Oh, Kelsey. Richardson. I think I've been calling her Kenzie. <laughs> Here comes the pitch by Taylor, inside. Now, you definitely do not want to load the bases in this situation. It's a one and one count. You have to be careful, very careful pitching to Richardson, though, because she's a good hitter. And just like that, Taylor making her swing at a higher pitch, higher in the zone, and she fouls it off, hits the fence. One, two, count, one out. Man on first and second. Payoff pitch to come. Strike three looking. Beautiful pitch. Great job by Taylor. That's two strikeouts this inning. 
just on that outer part of the plate, just enough over it to catch her off guard. I almost wish this was going to nine innings, and you never, I mean, Dodge just a little ahead of that one there. And a lot of foul balls, so they're just early. Not late. Well, they're either early or late, depending. Oh, yeah, well, if it's first base side, it's late. Yeah. It's third baseline, it's early, right? Yes. And Dodge, or swing and a miss. Taylor's just pitching great this. So another good hitter's count, and this this is where I'm talking, is where she, she should throw one outside, yes. out of the zone. Yes, out of the zone, make her chase. Because exactly. you have pitches to give. That works too. <laughs> Fouls that one off, and Taylor looking to make this. She's lo She's been locked in this inning, and she knows. She's got to keep this, keep this game going by getting these outs. Ooh, just out of play. So four straight strikes there. Again, man on first and second. 2-2, two, two, or 0-2 oh, count. Just another foul. Oh, wow. wow. And, and like you said, she's been pitching outside to her. So... That's why it's been fouling off. Now what do you do? Do you throw it high or low? Well, it depends what the last pitch is. If you threw it high, you're definitely going to want to throw it low because the pitcher... Because the batter is <laughs> going to expect it to be high. Yep. And finally, it makes it a 1-2 count as it was like a 5 or 6 strike. And if, if I was Frontier's pitcher, I would go right to the same spot again. Yeah. You still got another pitch to waste. Yeah. You got two. You, you got two more pitches to yeah. waste. Yeah. And you never know with that, you know, full count if she's she's got a she. Th this game, full counts. They've always been swinging. They don't. They usually don't look for a walk. Oh, because I mean, anything close, you're swinging. Yeah. Yeah. That's the rule. That's the un. Well, when you're in a two two strike count, that's the rule. Is anything that you think yeah. is going to be a strike, you swing it. That's why on a three one count or a three zero oh count, you usually never swing unless it's a meatball down the middle. Whew. This is, I think, a 10 pitch at bat, at least now. Maybe higher, high eight, but I think it's about eight actually. She's fouled off about four or five. Taylor. Oh Ooh. my gosh. This is a great at bat by Dodge and a great job by Taylor. Just keep throwing those strikes. One, two counts, still two outs. And now the sixth man, or the, oh. Oh, takes out the third, so Caitlin Voigt steals third on that. But they almost had him. If they got the tag there, it would have been close. Heads up base running by Lavoin. Two, two, two. Hard at ball, foul. Whew. Hole. That's hilarious. Two on, two out. This is like a 11, 12 pitch at bat, and it's still a 2-2 two -two count. Taylor and Dodge both at battle. Another foul tip. This is one of probably the best at bats, of the, is the best at bat at the night, no matter what the outcome is. I, win or lose this at bat, I mean, you win this at bat, you, you make it to a 10 pitch at bat no matter and who you're playing, it's a win. Honestly, if Taylor walks her, it's not even that bad either. Strike three! Three strikeouts by Ashley Taylor! Wow. Wow. After that at bat, great job by Taylor. Now, to keep hopefully, your now hopefully Frontier can come out and uh, yeah. get the bats working. Defensive, they got the fielding working. I mean, defensively, they played great for the for three out of two, uh, five of the innings. And they, they, they not, haven't made it. The, the three mistakes they made, the errors, are the only three mistakes that they have made. Yeah, the, only, but, the only thing that it has been causing them issues is Greenfield is just able to just get into the gaps that they have been able to yeah. find. And even the, like Chloe Cutting, when, when, when she had that catch in center, she was running in on it and had to make a catch like that. Oh, yeah. You, what you want to do is 
you always want to run. I always would run like either like this, which, or just you tuck your, what you're really supposed to do, tuck your glove in and then run in. But that's just unlucky, you know? And it was a tough play anyway, so. Anyways, Frontier, the no hitter is still alive. Holy moly. So, score 10 run, 10 run, 10 to zero. Top of the sixth inning, and Frontier's down to the last two innings of at-bats. You know what I just realized? Greenfield has a dozen. <laughs> a dozen hits. Oh, my goodness. So, Greenfield, they have 10 runs and a dozen hits. 12 uh, hits? Wow. Wow. Great. So, the batter's going to be Ashley Taylor, and... Let's see if she can get things going here for the Red Hawks. Break that no-hitter. Maybe get a walk in there. You never know. But you, are, you know that would be fun with the pitcher is the one who ends the other pitcher's no-hitter. Yes. Mono y mano. Oh! That uh, nice catch by Lavoine. So Again, one pitch, Frontier one out. got another good contact. Just couldn't get it into a gap. The, what Frontier's just been doing, they've just been hitting it straight to now, their pl the other players, or it's been a blooper. 12, and that's why the third and first basemen are playing in, second and short are playing out. Now you have, uh, with one gone. With one gone, you have 1-0 uh, count, and here comes the pitch. Shows bunt, gonna go foul. Top of the six. So, and one thing I noticed in softball is even with two strikes, people do bunt way more in than in baseball. Uh, good job staying alive by Fifield. Just fouls that one off. So one, two count. The no-hitter is still alive. And I, I'm going to wonder if we go into the seventh inning, if it'll still be alive then. Nice hit. That's going to go down the line. Oh. oh. oh that, that looked like it was going to drop to me, but, you know, Greenfield been doing what they're doing. They got to it just in time. And like we said, if you have a good offense for one or two innings, Defense wins championships, and defensively and pitching-wise, Greenfield's been great tonight. It's just one team finding hits and others not. So Skyler Steele, uh, third baseman for Frontier, is now up. One ball on her, and really, when she's gotten up to bat, fouls that one off. When she's gotten up to bat, they haven't given her much to swing at. Because they know if she can make contact, it could go out of the park. Personally, I mean, when we when we watch the games at Frontier, you know. So one one count, two outs, and Frontier down to the last four outs of the life. Ball. Two one count. Good hitters count, and steal. Won't swing at it if, at it if it's uh, close to being a ball. However, it was, you know, good cut. 2-2 two, two count. <laughs> Steal. Here comes the pitch. Outside. Tried to get her to chase. She would not. So here again, here goes again, Frontier in a good hitting crowd. They just gotta try and find that gap. Full count. Swing at anything close. Here comes the pitch. Outside, did not give her a pitch to hit. And she walks him, so, like I said, you wanna be careful, it's pitching a steal, and she was very careful. Elliotowski. 
who I think she struck out once or twice. So she's out there to make contact here. Ooh. Steal with the steal. <laughs> nice steal by steal. Oh, she was there all day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She didn't need, even need. So, man on second because Skylar Steele stole a base. Oh, hit and run. Yeah, so one thing I didn't notice was uh, Hadowski's a lefty, and you, you saw how she kind of like. The what, run swing? The yeah, the, the running swing. So the running swing, the slap. It's basically yeah. to try and get it to go to the opposite field, but also because she's a lefty, yeah. by doing the run swing, she's out of the box ten times quicker. Oh, she's got to go back. Oh, never mind. There was two outs. So still, after six innings, no hits, no runs for uh, no, Frontier. Just, just a couple walks. Just walks. The so the no-hitter game up. No hitter going into the seventh inning is alive. And yeah. Uh, you so the score, ten to nothing. You're watching Frontier Community Television television. We'll be right back after the break. Pearlberg batting for Flynn. Oh, nice. Pearlberg for Flynn. And a pitch hitter for Greenfield, Hannah Pielberg. She's going to take, she's going to step into the box. Taylor. And one thing after this game, I mean, <laughs> this game is a pretty good game to watch, even though it's 10 to nothing. Just two not two triples by Greenfield in, in that second inning, which kind of made it five or six runs. So two straight balls. It's a 2-0 count. Here comes the pitch. That's in there for a strike one. It's 2-1 now. Where's the mouse? Taylor to pitch. Oh, a little inside. 3-1 count. Good hitters count here. You can wait for yours. She does not hit up the middle. Base hit for Hannah Pielberg. And Greenfield. That makes it 13 hits for them. And another pinch hitter. It's going to be number one. What a game, though, for Greenfield. 13 hits. I mean, they, there's a reason they're the number one seed, you know? 13 hits and 10 runs. Oh, looks like I took pictures of my pocket. McDonald for Bacala. So McDonald is up to bat. That's in there for strike one. And again, you know, the score doesn't really dictate the game right now. It's it's been a great game all to, all around, even though it is ten to nothing. That's in there for ball. No, Frontier and Greenfield have both played a amazing game. Just one team has been able to find hits, and the other hasn't. Yeah. And they both had to at least do decent to make it here. So. It, yeah. And Frontier being a 21 seed to make it to the final four, that's that's really unheard of. And we're not saying the game's over. You never know what's going to happen in that seventh inning. And I hope they do get one hit, but you never know. That's a little inside. Another good hitter's count. Yeah, 3-1. It's either 2-1 or 3-1's th three, three even so you better. Hear, you hear Green Fair's bench. They're yelling to their player. you got to love it. Yep. And just like that, she, she didn't like it, so. And they'll have another pinch hitter. Oh my goodness, three straight pinch hitters. And it's gonna be Ivy Rave as the batter. I believe the winner of this plays the weekend. Yep, they, they play, no, they play on Friday night. Friday night at UMass. At UMass. 
In there for a strike. Good pitch by Taylor. Oh, down. Ooh. That would have been a double play Just if she feared. Foul. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been a double play, though. Step on first, throw to second, tag him. Yup. So two straight strikes. It's 0-2 count. Payoff pitch. Hard hit ball pop up. Ooh, nice play by Santos. McKay, McKay, well, Mikael Santos with a nice catch there. Uh, so Frontier needs two more outs to get out of this Ball inning. And field, yeah, and again, Elise set. And Elise uh, Benitez, she's had some scrappy hits which have gotten through. And I, I, uh, I know she's gotten a couple hits this game. So, I mean, when when you have, you have 10 runs and 13 hits, dictates, you know. Pop up. Around the pitcher area, Michaela calls it. Nice play. They also called a infield fly roll on that too. Oh wow! So I actually was wrong, and I thought there was a. So that's that makes it two outs. And a big batter here, Caitlin Lavoine, who's had a triple in the game and a couple of hits, so with two RBIs. Foul ball. And it. I'll be honest, Alec. Uh, Taylor, she's been looking really good this past two innings. Oh, no, she has. She definitely started to work away from the plate more and switch up the pitches a lot more. Yeah. Oh, that, well, can't do anything about that. Hannah Peelberg going to score. Makes it 11 to nothing. And, hey. You know, another just good hit up the middle and found that gap. Make it now 11 nothing. Yeah. With 14 Our hits. Third base, number seven, Carly 14 hits Blanchard. for Greenfield, and Blanchard is the batter. That one's going to be in the dirt for bowl one, and two outs uh, for Taylor and the defense for Frontier. So. Runners will be on f third and second. Yep, Caitlin Veen at second. And uh, number one for Greenfield at, uh, at third. So two straight balls. And honestly, this batter, you could, you could walk him. You could walk him here, but obviously Taylor doesn't want to do that. Uh, but now it's a hitter's count 2-1. And Taylor's doing a great job. She'll throw two straight balls and then make the batter swing at that. So... And one thing I forgot to mention this uh, game is fatigue. Especially with this heat. And Taylor's been out there a long time. Pitching a lot of pitches. I wonder what her pitch count is at, honestly. And to stay in there and actually get stronger as the game goes on is impressive. It's very impressive. And then on the other side, you got a no-hitter going, so... The exact opposite. Your pitcher's getting rested on the bench, get, getting water in you. And, and you're more worried about that than a pitcher pitching because the longer they sit on the bench, the more you think that their arm is going to stiffen up. Yeah, I mean. Whew. Great job by uh, Carly Blanchard. And I know she has a couple hits on the game as well, with maybe an RBI in there too. So man up first, uh, third and second. And big payoff pitch here, 3-2, full count. Foul ball. Good job staying alive by uh, Blanchard. You know, she's getting, she's getting those pitches that are just out of the zone, and she's just getting in the contact to foul them off to keep her at bat. Oh, <laughs> strike three looking. What a pitch. Yeah, and I think in the past uh, two innings, uh, well, she struck three straight batters out. 
or that three strikeouts. So we will go to the top of the seventh inning. Frontier needs to get at least 11. To they, no, they at least need to get a hit to end the no hitter. Yes, but and it will be a win. Yes, yeah. <laughs> honestly, honestly, yeah. You're you're right. If uh, but hey, on the other side of it, you gotta have lockdown defense to get that no hitter alive. And we'll be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Delvin. And Mashawn is now up to bat. Hard at ball fly. Pop fly. And Caitlin Vine just going to make another easy catch. Makes it. Makes it two outs before no lander. They only need two more outs Pinardi. and there's the no-no. See if Sophia Panardi or Chloe Cutting can break that. And I believe, if you believe, if we believe. Nah. Oh. Nice pitch and... Whoops. Sophia Panardi. She's just going to have to do a good job here. Oh, and that breaks the no-hitter! And there goes the no-no. Oh, my God. They, they tried to throw out at first. Hey, you do, you do anything, and I mean anything, yeah. to keep that no-hitter alive. Yeah, you. if it's a monster, you know, hit to center field, left center field, you try to throw him out at home or, so, or third. So the no-hitter is broken in the seventh inning. With two outs, they it's, only needed two outs. Yeah, they only need two more outs. So, and I'm surprised that they're actually keeping the Greenfield pitcher, in, especially if they win this game. Oh yeah, you know, you want to honestly, you're right. You don't need she's doing such a good, good job this game. I, unless, unless they chose, game, unless they chose, depending on how well she pitched, depending on what inning she's in, it could be too late anyways at this point. Yeah. So Campbell's going to take over at first for pinch running as she's got the wheels. And Chloe Cutting's going to be the batter as the no-hitter was just broken. Shows Bunt. Lays it down. And good job covering first. So Frontier, interesting play there. Sack Bunt works. Now it's two outs and the batter is Gabby Adams. You know, at this point, you're just more trying to get the one run to make it so it's not a shutout. Yeah. You're, yeah. Trying, you're trying to basically save your team's pride at this point. Yeah, I mean, hey, when you throw six... But, but again, when you're a 21st seed, like you said, and made it to the semifinals of the States out of how many teams yeah. there were, Yeah. it's a win no matter what, especially yeah. for the season. In Frontier, they are a young, talented team, so... Of course, they're going to lose some se two seniors this year. Counts one and one. They're going to lose uh, Chloe Cutting and Michaela Santos. So, but they got Skylar Steele and Delaney Fifield, seventh grader and a ninth grader. So you have them for a while. Especially the one that you said that made it into the. They both did. Those two. Whew. Yeah, they were the only frontier, and they were the youngest. That's nuts. I mean, a seventh grader making an all-state and a freshie, that is that, cool. That's, that tells you something. Yeah. They'll be, they'll be in the league for a while, and I wouldn't be surprised if Frontier makes another great run next year and has a better regular season. Regular season al doesn't always have to reflect the post, though. Great eye. That's going to make a 3-2 full count, two outs. And she has already walked a couple batters this game, yeah. too. Yeah. I mean, the perfect game was over in the uh, second inning, so. Way to stay alive. Yeah. And and to be fair, uh, Poland, she's she's pure, like, accuracy. She's got it going. You know, accuracy and uh, what's the other thing? Speed. Speed. If you have good speed and accuracy, then you're kind of unstoppable. And especially because most of the time that what you make up for accuracy, you lose in speed, and it's the opposite. When you make up speed, you lose accuracy. Yeah. So for for them to have her who can do both. Yeah. Me is pretty good. When I pitched, I pitched in a, a semifinal game where we had a double hitter. 
and had to play three games in 24 hours. So we were out of pitchers. And it's ball one. So one out count for Michaela Santos. Man on first and second with two outs. We'll see what happens here. And she's going to wait for hers. Nice hit. That's going to bloop in for a hit. One run. No, we'll hold, hold. Ooh. She would have been toasted at home. And no, they're gonna, they're gonna probably play it safe. They'll go bag to bag at this point. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, honestly, with two outs in the seventh inning, you, you, you have, to, you have to go bag to bag. I mean, hey, they, they came alive in the seventh inning, and that with, with, with a little late, but you know, hey, better than nothing. That shows. And Taylor's gonna be the batter. They'll have a pinch runner at first, it looks like, too. And the number seed is the number on first. <laughs> oh, you know, anything could happen. You could have an 11-run inning. Uh, it has happened before. I will say I did all... Oh, oh. They're taking out the pitcher, or they're going to... The coaches, that's the first bound visit of the game for the... Uh, Greenfield? The, the Greenfield, yeah. I'm wondering if she's going to stay in and just try to get that last I would out. say that it's probably too late to take her out. They probably already, even if yeah, she no, yeah. even if she got taken out, she probably won't pitch next next game due to how far she already pitched no, into she, this game. Uh, you never know what's softball there's though a, on Friday. There, well, there's only so many pitch pitching, so many pitches you can pitch in a game uh, the same week. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. you're only allowed so many within a week. Yeah, so sh we'll... S We'll see on Friday who's pitching, and you never know. Big at bat by Taylor, mano y mano. And, it, and like we said earlier, it would be crazy for the pitcher to break the other pitcher. This time, the shutout. Exactly. It's always a fun at bat when you're a pitcher and you're up to bat against a pitcher. And to be fair, these are two rival teams, but also two teams that... Well, that's going to bloop in. That's going to bloop in. One run will score. Two runs will score. An RBI single for Taylor. And what we say, two the RBI. pitcher breaks the shutout and uh, helped herself on the way. Yeah. Wow. I am very impressed. I am very impressed. That broke the no-hitter and the shutout. And now, and now it will be two outs with a runner on second. And hey, Frontiers, they didn't just give up. They could have easily, but they did not. Whew, That's in their first pitch. strike, yeah. 11 to 2 right now. And the batter's fight field. Oof. Two straight strikes on her, and got to swing at anything close. I'm thinking it's either going to be a foul tip or, or, or hit or strike. I mean, I don't think it's going to be a ball here. Well, it also looks like she's good. It looks like she's trying to look for the outside pitch, too, because the way her stance is looks like she's trying to get it down the right yeah. field line. And we've seen that all game. And it, early on, it really worked against Frontiers hitters. Oh. Right side, she's trying to go down that right field line. Five field doing a great job keeping her team alive right now, though. Shout out and no hitter were broke with one out. And that was Sophia Pernardi who broke it with that hit. No, they broke it with two outs. Oh, yeah. The shutout was broke with two outs. The no hitter was break, broken with one out. Yeah. No hitter was broke with one. Shout out with. Yeah. And that was by Taylor with an RBI single. So, two RBI single. To keep the game alive, 2 2 count. Hard at ball, nice oh. catch. Beautiful nice catch. snag at shortstop and to I'm end pretty the sure game. That was that was number 19. And so it was a great season for Frontier. It was a great job and a, a, a amazing for them to make it that final four. They have the and. Hey, to be beaten by another Western Mass team, pretty impressive. They made it very far. Well, that final score, 11 of 2. Your Tom Albert, Alan Kekel, you've watched Frontier. Oh, yeah.